You guys are very chatty. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just gonna pass the talking stick to me. Because <laughs> it's really small. Right? And then you talk, I really appreciate hearing what you have to say. You speak loudly as if we're like Metallica. <laughs> So I would just suggest that you table whatever things you have to do with each other until after. Woo! I'm just saying, I'm just saying, just in case, because maybe then you can think about it and be like, you know, I don't know if I need to answer that question. Or maybe you know better how to ask the question. This is what happens to me. Sometimes I say, we're going to talk to you. Just, we're going to hold off. There's a movie playing. And then I come back later and I say, I have better questions for you. <laughs> so I'm just saying, it's just a recommendation. Nothing big. You can totally ignore it. You can speak through it. It's all good. I just want you to know, I think I have you. I think I have you. The are good. So, so Indigo Girls. Uh, it, it, so uh, I was into metal as a kid. I was into uh, Van Halen, Def Leppard, Iron Maiden. Yeah. Uh, you know, Warrant, Poison, <laughs> Skid Row, and uh, and then all of a sudden I discovered. Indigo Girls, and I was like, wow, people actually write lyrics that aren't just like, like gasoline, you wanna pump me? <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I was like, that's crazy, these people are deep, and they play acoustic guitar, and so I really wanted to be Amy from the Indigo Girls, uh, and I was like, I just want to dress like her, and be cool like her, and play music like her, and then I met them on a retreat, an artist retreat in New Orleans that we did after Katrina. Uh, we went down and talked about, uh, sort of how can you give more as an artist, what can you do, sort of like a, anyway, and so I met them there and then I became friends with them and and then there were moments where I'd like, but that night I'm at this, on stage at Tipitina's, I sang Kid Fears with them and it was this moment where I sang the Michael Stipe part of Kid Fears and there's that moment where you're getting ready to sing and you're just, just like in college you did this but with two two people that weren't going to go across and you're like getting ready to sing and you're like, alright, here we go and you step up and you start singing the Michael Stipe part and you look over and Amy's like, yeah. And you're like, oh my god, you're Amy. <laughs> and then you look past you, oh my god, you're Emily. Oh my god, I'm on stage with the Indigo Girls. And since that, we've done it a bunch since. We sing all the time together, and it never really gets old. I have to tell you, there's just a moment where you look at And they, uh, so anyway, that is how I met the Indigo Girls. And then this is the song uh, that you want to hear. And uh, I will play it for you. And Aaron's going to break things. <laughs> I'm sorry that you can't play it. I just wanted some attention. <laughs> During this one, he pushes the fish off the thing and he's really mad. So this is a song I wrote. I only have two positive songs, maybe one and a half. This one's only like uh, about a minute and a half long. So this is for you. This time It's a little victory, it's a little victory. 